Hello everyone. Welcome to our session. Today we are discussing about the history and scope of microbiology including contributions of Louis Pasteur. Myself Anjali PT, 2nd MSc Biology, St. Mary's College, Thrissur. First we are discussing about the definition of microbiology. Microbiology is defined as the study of organism and agents that are too small to be seen clearly by the unaided eye. To be more simple, microbiology is the study of microorganisms which are the living organisms of microscopic size. Then we are uh, telling about the history of microbiology. Microbiology essentially began with the development of microscope. Anton van Leeuwenhoek is a famous person who is always praised as the father of microbiology. Then uh, who was the first to provide proper documentation of his observation in late 17th century. This was the Anton van Leeuwenhoek's microscope. Then he examined rain, several rainwater, uh, saliva, decoction, cork leaves of plants, seminal fluid, scrapping. He was the first to describe the protozoa and bacteria. He observed some bacteria from plaques of his own teeth. He named them as animalcules. Then Anton van Leeuwenhoek outlined the structural details of paramecium amoeba, certain filamentous fungi, algae bacteria, etc. Then uh, we are discussing about spontaneous generation and theory of biogenesis. Spontaneous generation is a belief in ancient times that living organism could develop from non-living matter. Then the theory of biogenesis is the living organisms arise only from pre-existing organism. Then uh, we are telling about Reddy's experiment. In 1688, Francisco Reddy carried out a series of experiments decaying meat and its ability to produce mango spontaneously. Uh, Reddy placed three jars. Uh, Reddy placed meat in three jars. First jar uh, uh, placed in a open place. Flies, uh, we are observed, uh, flies laid eggs on meat which developed into mango. And jar two, uh, he covered with a net. Uh, he observed uh, flies laid eggs on the net, developed into mango on the net. Then jar 3 uh, sealed. Uh, he observed uh, no mango developed on meat. This experiment proved that the mango developed from fly eggs, not from meat. Thus, ready. Disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. Uh, then uh, we are discussing about experiment of Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur is a professor of chemistry at the University of Lille, France. He is considered as pioneer of microbiology. He proved the theory of biogenesis and disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. Experimentally by using swan necked flask. Pasteur uh, passed the untreated and unfiltered air into boiled nutrient broth. Germs uh, settled in the goose neck and no microbes appeared in the solution. Thus, he disproved that the living organism appear from non-living matter. Uh, then he also worked on soaring of wine and beer 
and found that this alcohol spoilage is due to the growth of undesirable organisms while the desirable microorganism produce alcohol by a chemical process is called fermentation then uh, he showed that wine didn't spoil if it is heated to uh, 50 to 60 degree celsius for a few minutes this method is called pasteurization uh, uh, we are uh, uh, in our daily daily uh, daily life uh, uh, we are uh, heating milk uh, uh, that is a pasteurization Uh, Louis Pasteur is the founder of germ theory of disease. Germ theory of uh, disease is the he visualized that diseases are caused by a microorganism. Uh, then he discovered the importance of sterilization and discovered stream sterilizer and autoclave and hot air oven. Then he dif differentiated between aerobic and anaerobic bacteria and coined the term anaerobic to refer to the organism that do not require oxygen for growth. He developed uh, then uh, he developed the process of attenuation during his work on chicken cholera in fowls. He found that cultures which had been stored in the laboratory uh, for some time uh, would not kill the animals as fresh cultures did. This attenuation is now used in protective vaccination against diseases. Uh, then anthrax disease in cattle and sheep is caused by a bacteria. Uh, he developed live attenuated anthrax vaccine by incubation at 40 to 42 degrees celsius which proved to be useful in protecting animals against anthrax. Pasteur developed a vaccine against rabies. Pasteur gave a general term vaccine. Uh, this is the Pasteur goose neck flask experiment uh, that is a uh, Pasteur passed the untreated and unfiltered air into the boiled nutrient broth. Germs settled in the goose neck and no microbes appeared in the solution. Thus, he disproved that the living organism appeared from non-living matter. Another uh, experiment is the Pasteur's study on immunization. Uh, then next we are uh, discussing about the scope of microbiology many scope in microbiology uh, first first uh, microbiology branch is agricultural microbiology agricultural microbiology is a branch of microbiology dealing with plant associated microbes and plant animal diseases then uh, second is uh, food microbiology uh, food microbiology is the study of microorganism that inhibit create or contaminate food this include the study of microorganism causing food spoilage pathogen etc then third one is Industrial Microbiology Industrial Microbiology is a branch of applied microbiology in which microorganisms are used in industrial process. For example, in the production of high value products such as drugs, chemicals, fuels and electricity. Another one is Medical Microbiology Medical uh, Microbiology is a branch of medical science concerned with the 
prevention, diagnosis and treatment of infectious disease. Another one is aquatic microbiology. Aquatic microbiology deals with uh, the study of microbes of aquatic system uh, such as fresh or uh, salt water systems. Uh, it includes uh, microscopic plants, animals, bacteria, virus and fungi and their behavior in relation with the other organism in aquatic environment. Then uh, another one is aeromicrobiology. Aeromicrobiology is a study of living microbes which are suspended in the air. Then uh, exomicrobiology. Exomicrobiology is the study of microorganisms in outer space. Microorganisms in outer space are most widespread form of life on earth and capable of colonizing any environment. Uh, this was uh, all about scope of microbiology. Thank you.